An Albany granddad has been jailed for eight and a half years after hiring a hitman to kill his son's ex-wife. But 73-year-old Brian Atwell still maintains while he paid $10,000 to an undercover officer for the murder, he never meant to go through with it. Even in his last moments of freedom, Brian Atwell was defiant. I done nothing wrong at all. Who's the one that done it all wrong? The 73-year-old businessman wanted his former daughter-in-law, Michelle Petrina Atwell, dead. He told an undercover police officer, I want her wiped off the face of the earth, strangled or something, no blood, and handed over $10,000. I know what I am and what I've done in the community, and the community respects me very highly. Today he was sentenced to eight and a half years behind bars for trying to organise the murder. Justice Ralph Simmons says he couldn't give Atwell any credit because he's shown no responsibility for what he did. He was scathing of the 73-year-old's lack of empathy for what Miss Atwell went through and today he was no different. I hope the maggot gets in trouble because she's the instigator of it all and not me. I'm doing the pain but not her. She's living a lavish lifestyle and laughing behind everybody's back. She should apologise to me. She's the instigator of it all, not me. The court heard Miss Atwell has been left traumatised by the events. She still has trouble sleeping at night, eating disorders and fears for the safety of her children. Atwell will be locked away for a minimum of six years. By the time he's eligible for parole, he'll be close to 80 years old. It's understood he's in poor health and there were concerns with how he'd cope in jail. Justice Simmons said it's likely his condition could get worse behind bars, but jail time was the only option that fit the crime. Brian Atwell has already indicated that he'll be appealing his conviction. El Miseros, he still maintains he shouldn't have been jailed at all. Well, that's exactly right, Tim. As the judge was handing down the eight-and-a-half-year sentence, Brian Atwell said that he wasn't happy about it and that he would be uh, appealing the sentence and the conviction, even though a jury found him guilty of the crime late last year. Now, we spoke to employees of Brian Atwell today and they said that they'll be continuing to support him. Now, friends say that he was a man pushed to his limits and that he never intended to kill. Uh, uh, and that was, of course, rejected by the jury. Now, back in 2008, he was actually nominated for an Australian of the Year award, and his friends say that that is a testament of his true good character. Now, Brian Atwell has already served six months behind bars, and he'll be eligible for parole in six years' time. Tim?